Hey, hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Miyogi. Welcome to our first ever playthrough of Initial D Special Stage. Yes, guys, it's another nostalgia trip. I know. Were you guys really expecting this? Because I actually have this finished the game way, way back. Like, I, like half a decade ago, I finished it. Although, unfortunately, I have to stop the uh, uh, the intro right here before I get flagged by YouTube. You know why? Because AVEX and Flex Initial D, a lot of Eurobeat is already popular now, and they would tag anyone who is actually using such soundtracks. On that note, uh, give me a moment here. I just need to go to the options. Wait, let me just check this through. Um, I guess this is options. Yeah, this is options. I need to take out the music. No, not this menu. Alright, a, bi a bit of some technical support that will be happening here, guys. Just be right back. I'll be right back in a few minutes. Okay, thank you guys for waiting. And he bringing you back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, thanks a lot, tech support. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Alright, um, on to serious matters. Alright, so the main feature of this game is actually other than the classic Legend of the Street. By the way, this doesn't have Bonta Challenge compared to the arcade. But before we go any further, I'd just like to show you guys. Um, is this. No, I just went back to options. I'd just like to show you guys my garage. Wait, is this garage? Is this replay theater? Here's the garage. Alright, is the garage as how people call it? Some people call it garage. So let me just show you the cars that I used to completely clear the game. First off, my first debut was the S14 Sylvia. The Koki, if I remember correctly. Look at that points, man. 1,018,352. You know I've been grinding with this car for as long as I remember. And it's the Nismo A-Tune, in which I have a bit of some customizations myself. I reverted the wing back to its original and changed it to Watanabe's because Kogure. Second up would be my prize R34. This is an obvious Nismo B tune, but look at the points. A million, a hundred thousand, twelve, five hundred six. I know. So the next one is Kyosuke's uh, R32. I just used it for crap. Uh, this one I can't honestly remember. Uh, I'm pretty sure I used it before when I was doing the Ryusen versus Takumi lookalike video for Speed Legend V. And this was just one of my last latest ones for the sake of uh, plot and all. Uh, a Mines R34. I don't know if I want to finish that or not. Uh, I digress. But um, because we'll be tackling it next time, why not set up a car for the next... Um, Time I do this. By the way, the Impreza GC8 version 5 can only be unlocked if you beat Bunta in Project D Story Mode. I'll get on to that in a moment. Alright, so let's just set up our car for when we do Legend of the Street soon. Right. Okay, so we got the EK, the uh, EG, the DC2 Integra. You know why I'm going for this one, guys. You see Tomo destroy everyone before back in Initial D Extreme Stage. Now, Let's give it a shot to, oh, I don't know, the, the Prince of Racing. I think it's about time Daiki Akiyama takes the step this time. So, I'll be, fo I'll be uh, off cam, I'll be modifying this S2 Chao, the S2 Chao, S2000 before we get on to story mode. So, it means I might clear story mode first before you guys can even see it. Then, I'm gonna do it again alongside you guys. I might be skipping some chapters because they're boring as hell. Alright, so what we're going for is the B-Tune, the Honda Twin Camworks S2000. This is how I imagine Daiki Akiyama to be like. So, wait, I think I need my kanji works here. Give me a moment. I just need to find the correct data. Another moment for tech support, guys. Be right back. Okay, guys, welcome. Okay, <laughs> okay, guys, welcome back. Sorry, I had to Google Translate the kanji, or in this case, the hiragana of Akiyama Daiki. So that is da i ki. All right. Uh, the more you know for your weebs. <laughs> All right. On that note, yep, we're regi ref registering this car. Six um, manual transmission, of course. Now, the crazy bit about this in Legend of the Street is well. 
Oh yeah, I just entered Legend of the Street. God freaking dang. Oh, this is actually time attack. Alright. So this is time attack and all. Alright, time to stop the music. Malagagi. Alright, you see the soundtracks? I really need to turn them off. That's why I went through on the settings earlier. So we're not actually going to do this yet. We will be focusing on Legend of the Street, which is, I mean, story mode. What am I saying? This is story mode, actually, not Legend of the Street. Which will be more interesting, if I may add, rather than Legend of the Street, which is run of the mill against, you know, you against all the initially characters. This one, you'll be taking the role of the initially characters. So let's kick it off with Takumi Stage. Fujiwara Takumi. There'll be a lot of some uh, commentaries here. I don't know if I might plan to translate the subtitles because I have read the manga, watched the anime. I might get some peaks and quirks. If I do, lucky as if we don't, rely on Google Translate. <laughs> Alright, let's begin. Yes, I already cleared them all, but I'm gonna do it again for you guys. By the way, guys, these are never mind. Ma, Takumi. ふたりで共同で走ろうかねえか。二人のバイトだよ、それが。どう払うんだろう。なんでそこまで無理して車欲しいんだよ。やだよ。俺。いつきんちだって車ぐらいあるだろうが。それ借りれば。わかってねえな
to which also actually improves his driving to make sure that the water doesn't spill. Call it a placebo effect, if you may add. Alright, and just like in the uh, arcade and in extreme stage, I actually do this in end car view. Yeah, that's it. And... See that? Every. Whoa, I went too much there. To actually gain an S class on this one, you really have to beat this stage without losing a single drop of water. So you can try to be as careful as you can. Wait, why is there music? Looks like I'll be asking tech support on the next episode. Yeah, remember, um. If you're a first timer playing this, it's alright for you to lose on stage 1. Because at least you get to understand the physics and the mechanics of the game. With someone as experienced as me, this is humiliating. Um, also, again, the physics here would be extremely, obviously, extremely different. Ow. Damn it, now Takomi is already, you know, screaming like, no, that's gonna kill me. Alright, and unlike in the initial the extreme stage where you just need to hit the maximum cap, this one they're actually... Let's just get this over with first. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we just cleared that stage. Again, it's really humiliating for me to crash. Looks like I was able to save the settings earlier. Yeah, because we only got 56% left, we only got a rank C. Really, I, I wasn't kidding guys when I said it has been 5 years since I last played this game. And that was the menu that will appear after every end stage. So first one on the menu here, it would show save replay, exit, next stage, and retry. We're not gonna bother retrying, I'm just showing you guys how the things work. And what you guys uh, see me get screwed over a lot and lots of times. あたりで走るって言ったら、秋名さんしかないでしょう。本当にいたんだ。伝説の走り屋が。しかも、豆腐を車に乗せてホテル街に降ろしに行くんだ。男性商売だから雨が降ろうが雪が降ろうが毎日走るんだ。年季が違うよ。You can tell that they are recycling a lot of scenes from the manga, right? 1000万かけてもいいや。秋名さんの下り最速は豆腐屋の86だ。the last bit, by the way, is that the fastest driver in Mount Akina is a guy with an 8.6 owning a tofu shop. That's the moral of the story.
clearing stage 1 brings us to stage 2 with the 1 requirements that we need to clear the downhill in less than 3 minutes and 40 seconds. And it would be another rolling start. Um, it would be focusing the entire Mount Akina for this one. So for me, it will be like a refresher per se. So let's just get on to it. And probably um, after we've seen Takahashi Keisuke, spoiler, um, that's where I'm going to cut this episode right here. Normally, the first episode is always this long because I have a lot of explanations for you guys. And yes, that's Itsuki peeping at Atsuki's ass. Alright, and yes, my copy is really old, so it's really loading this slow. Forgive it, guys. Also, no pressure in this one. However, Takumi would be making a lot of side comments whenever you hit the walls. And yes, it's the song of my people. See, I got used to going down to gear 3 um, because Gran Turismo simulators and everything. Um, a good tactic to use whenever you're going on the downhill is what I used to, what a lot of us used to call before as the eraser. And by the way, I'm using the D-pad, not the analog stick. Even the slightest bump, Takumi will react. You can see at his face at the bottom, at the upper right. And again, yep, that's the A6. And the latency here is that uh, you need to hit certain shift points. When you get to the final gear, you need to hit a certain maximum speed to utilize a lot out of the you know machine. All right. So, a lot of these stages would actually involve you doing time attacks. Oh, I went too much at the inside there. I forgot, this is an A6 Joedo. I had this, uh, I got used to the physics of, oh, I don't know, using a GDR. So, I tend to actually turn in too early. I forgot this is an A6. I can actually break plate and delay my cornering. And I would still clear it like an ass. I mean, like a pro. Oh, come on, Takumi. I wasn't hitting the wall on that one. Alright, fifth gear. Okay, here we go. The five consecutive hairpins. It's not actually canon what I'm doing right now because I'm maximizing the gutters. Oops. Shut up, Takumi. I, w I did that perfectly. Alright, um, as far as ranking is concerned here, I forgot how it works before, but... There we go. I forgot how it works before. I guess it doesn't matter if you hit the walls, as long as you hit the target times properly. Can we do it? Can we do it? 59! Boom! Nice! Under 3 minutes! Uh, we only are allowed until 3 minutes 40. I guess this is overkill. So, um, I'm, I'm gonna cut it when we get to the menu. So let's just see if there will be any backstories right after. But 259 flat, wow. Really? You see the 86 here is cheating. And we get a rank A! Good job. Good job, Miyogi. Good job. You outperformed yourself as always. Alright, and that's it for part 1 on this one. Maybe when we get to part 2, we'll actually be versing someone already other than doing solo time attacks. So, this is me. Um, if you really like the series, give it a like. A lot of likes, by the way, and I'll be posting on the next episode. I think it's about time I do some latency when it comes to the likes here and all. So, continue to share it. 
all initial Lee fans are welcome. Those who are new to the series are welcome. I'll try to do my best to make a lot of explanations here. If you have anything to discuss, do post it in the comments and I will answer them in the next episode, if ever. Or in the next set. Because what I'll be doing right now, I'll be doing a batch recording. Until, oh, say, um, before the engine of the 86 gets blown. Spoiler. Alright, so this is Miyagi saying see you guys in the next part.